We are covering this story top to bottom. Families of the victims, we are focusing so heavily on that because that really is what's important here and the recovery of so many who were injured, not just physically, but also emotionally and mentally, Ben, after seeing what they saw on Sunday. But our Aaron Maben is standing by live for us. And Aaron, you obviously heard what just happened there in the courtroom. Give us what you're feeling, what you're taking away from all this. Yeah, Stephanie, where I'm here near uh, People's Park, and I can tell you there are a lot of restaurants and everything on these streets. I'm certain that the people here in Waukesha were watching that court appearance very closely. Uh, people are just getting goosebumps when you hear that more than 62 people are injured and learning that sad news. A sixth person has now died, a child. Earlier today, I talked to the family of an 11 year old girl. She was a dancer. She was so excited to take to the streets with their dance group and perform at the parade. She was hit by the SUV tonight. She is bruised and she is scraped up, but she is at home recovering and her family members talking to me about the panic at the parade. <laughs> Screaming and chaos as a car barreled through the Waukesha Christmas parade. We just saw like the girls like fly like it was just like everyone just like bursted in like we didn't know where she was. Yaretsi Becerra Montez was performing at the parade Sunday afternoon with her dance team, Extreme. It was just like something that she always looked forward to. She loves to dance. She's so committed to that. Her family was waiting for her to approach when an SUV plowed into the team. Panic set in. I hear like a lot of noise and I hear like a lot of like bump bump, you know, and I just didn't know what to do. I just ran and, you know, looking for her. I was like, where is your Etsy? And all the girls were like, we don't know. I'm looking for my daughter. And, you know, I was, I'm sorry, I just, it's so hard. Emotion as Laura Becerra Montez remembers finding her daughter on the ground. Relief that she was there and relief that I saw her eyes open. The driver hit the 11 year old and kept going. Her family took shelter at a bakery until an ambulance arrived. We want answers as to why he did it, like what was going through his mind that just made it so easy. The young dancer who loves the holidays is home recovering. Her family inspired by her strength. It's not something anyone ever expected at a Christmas parade. It's something that we always went to and we just know it's not ever going to be the same again. And as the days go on, Yuritzi remembers more and more what happened to her at the parade. She is really struggling both physically and emotionally. Her family members really there supporting her. They are so grateful for the community support that they have been receiving. And on the ground here in Waukesha, as we continue to talk to people about that parade tragedy, Ben and Stephanie, it seems like everyone knows someone who is affected by this. Back to you. It's amazing how that happens. You know, everyone's so close to this in so many different ways, even if you weren't directly there and directly impacted by the tragedy. Erin, thank you for that. We wish her the well and, and the best in terms of her recovery.